Pisces. Hello. What's the deal? Y'all already know what we here for your July monthly reading, dear. Okay. <laughs> Any place with a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node places that anybody who would like to be nosy, they in here, I promise you. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, like, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, Hello. All right. Um, to book a personal tarot reading with me, my pricing and my content information is in the description box down below. All other info will be, it's okay, will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Yes. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribe to the channel because it does keep me in rotation. All right, Pisces. So you know how this goes. We're going to pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during this time, and who could be being nosy. All right, and then we're gonna pull a monthly oracle message for you, uh, for you guys, and get a spread going. All right, Pisces, how you feeling? Not really picking up anything for you. I don't know, Pisces. You could be a lot uh, more like um, <laughs> I'm hearing a lot more detached than usual. Okay, so this is like a normal Wednesday for you. Okay, <laughs> you being detached, but I don't know, Pisces. You might just be a little bit like um. Yeah, I get the energy of Pisces. You could find yourself uh, becoming more and more detached from reality. And, you know, this, ah, girl, like this could be, um, this give me the energy if you like, you just get autopilot. Like, you know what I'm saying? You wake up, go to work, come home, cook, clean, do whatever, uh, rinse and repeat. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all need to do some laundry. Okay. But uh, it just gives me this energy of, I just kind of feel like Pisces, you're an autopilot for the time being. All right, just kind of like just doing your day-to-day, -day mundane, normal, routine type thing. Uh, some of y'all need to be careful about that. Because I feel like if you become too detached from reality, you become a little bit of a zombie. So be careful about, you know what I'm saying, being um, too kind of like out there. Okay, let's reel you back in, right? Spirit guys, oh, my nose ring. Spirit guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this Pisces reading? For the, no, booty up. What zodiac signs can resonate for, uh, with this Pisces reading for the month of July in the year 2022? Damn. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me do another shuffle because I was about to uh, put two down, okay? So, Pisces, there is an Aquarius being nosy during this time. So, we had Pisces come out, exclusivity. Pisces, Taurus, and Scorpio. But y'all know whenever we see the zodiac sign of the reading that we're doing, that means that you can have any placement. So, you can have any placement of Pisces. And some messages in here will resonate with you. Some of you guys might have some heavy 12th house placements. Girl, come in. Okay, just take your shoes off at the door. That's all I ask, all right? So, we got Pisces, Taurus, and Scorpio. Heavy water sign energy. Scorpio, Moon, and Sun, Venus, and Taurus. All right, so any placement of Pisces, Venus, and Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Moon, and Scorpio, Sun. There could also be some messages for you in the Taurus reading and the Scorpio reading. These zodiac signs could be being nosy as well, girl. You know how this goes, okay? Let's do this monthly oracle message. Put that over here. Spirit guys, what's going on with the... Oh. What's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? I can't remember who had this. Somebody had this uh, card. I can't remember though. All right. So, ugh. Pisces, there is someone, okay, I'm hearing there's someone here outside your energy who is capable of being draining, okay, because this is the, they're draining your energy card, so Pisces, you need to be aware of letting somebody get too close to you, because I heard they're capable of draining your energy, so just be careful about who you have around you during this time, girl, okay, um, but save money came out so pisces whenever i pull this card this is not you you know what i'm saying just putting something back in the bank all right when the save money card comes out this is because you're going to need this this amount of money sometime soon all right so pisces i need you to make sure that you are putting some money aside because you are going to need that soon all right but overall, I feel like some of you guys, uh, saving might need to be uh, prioritized over spending in the month of July. Just putting it back a little wherever you can. A dollar, two dollar, four quarters, five. Put five on it, girl. It adds up, okay? What we going to buy my deck? Ooh, two of cups. 
jobs. Okay, so some of y'all could be in a connection during this time. It could be with a fellow water sign, maybe a cancer. Some of y'all could most definitely be dating, okay? Could be dating or you could be in an exclusive relationship. Uh, some of y'all could be in that space to where it's like, you know, I want to experience love. Y'all funny. I don't know. Some of y'all could be in the space to where it's like, I, I think I'm ready to date, girl. I think I'm ready to be in a connection. You feel me? Okay. Justice card in the two of cups, but some of y'all need to uh, uh, make sure that you uh, basically whenever I see the justice card come down to two because this for me is knowing like um, what you want, what you deserve, what's your worth, what's your value. All right. Knowing what you basically want to attract during this time. Uh, some of you guys could be, like I said, in a connection with a fellow water sign or air sign individual. Oh. Congratulations. I see somebody here going to the courthouse. They ain't having no big fancy wedding or nothing like that. They're going straight to the courthouse. That's, I'm telling y'all, that's going to be me, girl. We're going to go to the courthouse. We're going to have like a little, I'm speaking for my mans. <laughs> We're going to have like a little sit down for the family and everything, for the family and friends and all that shit going to the honeymoon, bitch. All right? Like, for real. Like, girl, I don't need no big wedding. We'll have a little get together for the fam and friends, okay? We'll be heading to the courthouse. My mans might feel differently, but that's what I want, all right? But yeah, I do see someone here going to the courthouse with their significant other. <laughs> I don't know. I do see uh, two people here getting on paper together. So this could be signing a lease together, getting on some sort of policy or contract together. Something like that. All right. But also what I said, you know, the latter. Okay. About, you know what I'm saying? You guys knowing what you want to attract during this time in regards to your love life. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac? Hold on, girl. Fuddy months of July in the year 2022. Mm -mm, too many. Chariot with the two of Pentacles. All right, girl, what you got going on here? So, Chariot, girl. Slow motion, bed, no motion. All right, but now with the chariot card, a lot of you guys, I feel like, need to move forward, okay? You need to focus on moving forward. Because the Two of Pentacles is showing up on the bottom of the deck, Pisces, are you playing with the shit? Two of Pentacles, for me, can be about being on the fence about something, being in and out, on and all back and forth. And it is a little bit of an inconsistent energy. So some of y'all need to be careful about, uh, you know, one week you're doing good, next week you fall off. Next week you're back on, the following week you're back off, okay? Be careful about being in this ping pong energy to where you just uh, driven, focus and you're like i said moving forward all right um some of y'all could be putting back money for a car during this time or needing to or some of y'all this could be in regards to some sort of travel plans all right yeah two of pentacles king of swords and the six of wands yeah i see some of y'all could be like i said putting back money for a car Ooh. Oh, I see some of y'all um, could be being urged to move on from some inconsistent situation with someone. Uh, it could be with an earth, air, or a fire sign. I got Capricorn, Aquarius, and Leo. Some of y'all are moving on from that. Some of y'all could be being urged to move on for that. It's like, okay, you got to be real, okay, with the King of Swords. This for me is realizing uh, what needs to be severed, Six of Wands, in order for you to be, uh, okay, I was about to say consistent, but I wanted to say successful. So some of y'all, this could be just realizing, like, you know what I'm saying? I need to, you know, girl, but, but this is... There was another saying I was thinking about, but basically some of y'all realizing I need to hit the pavement a lot harder. Um, I don't know. Some of y'all, this could be you getting active, like working out or something like that. But I just feel like in regards to, you know, any sort of success or victories that you want to obtain or achieve during this time, Pisces, you're realizing that with the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I got to cut out that, you know, playing with the shit type shit. One card. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of July? Nah, for the month of July in the year 2022. Five of Wands with the death card. This shit right here is called death. All right, but we got the cherry and the five of wands. So yeah, some of y'all, I feel like no matter what obstacles or what problems, conflict that you run into, cherry card, you got to mow right through that shit. Some of y'all, this is also not getting distracted. Like, is it going to show here? Yeah, you see how the chariot is kind of heading into the five of wands. So some of y'all, I don't know. Some of y'all might run into some issues with your car. Excuse me. Some of y'all, your car making noise. <laughs> some of y'all, it's a lot of rat tat 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 going on up underneath the hood. Some of y'all, your car making noise, okay? Now, with the death card, this could be a sign that maybe it's time for you to get a new car, get a new vehicle, right? Or some of y'all, some of y'all need a new car. 
Okay, some of y'all need a new car. That could be what some of you guys could be needing to put money aside for. All right. Wow. Pisces, you're going through a lot. Okay. I got four major arcanas here. We got Death, we got Tower, we got Hierophant, and then we got the World card showing up on the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys might have felt like you've been going through a lot of intense changes as of recently, but with the Cherry card, you're still having to push through shit. All right, some of y'all I'm hearing have been through some sort of like spiritual upheaval. Um, maybe with the death card, you lost something, someone, my condolences. Um, I just feel like things could have like drastically changed for you, Pisces, in the recent weeks and or months. All right. Yeah, some of y'all could have went through some sort of separation. Uh, like I said, some of y'all could have lost something, someone. Um, I just feel like some of you guys could be in this energy as to where it's like you're trying to like cherry card, push through five of wands, some sort of upheaval that you've had in your life. But some of y'all, this is also spiritually transforming you as well. World card, getting you ready for the next level. I do see someone here needs to um, move on from a problematic uh, marriage Marriage, <laughs> community or something like that. Uh, Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? I see why some of y'all feel detached from reality. It's like, man, I don't want to deal with this shit. Ew. So we got the seven of swords here. Well, it makes sense. It's on the bottom. Fool card was on the bottom of the day. Yeah, so we got the chariot, five of wands, and the seven of swords. Now, the seven of swords can be considered a self-sabotage card. Some of y'all need to be careful about reverting back to your old ways, reverting back to a certain... Thank you for the vision, okay? Because I be reading, girl, what I say earlier. Some of y'all, one week you're consistent. The next week you're off. The following week you're back on. Some of y'all need to be careful about being inconsistent with you moving forward during this time. You have a plan. You have a mission. You want a mission. I, I feel like some of y'all need to be careful about being distracted. Uh, five of Wands, letting the obstacles get in your way. Seven of Swords, want to take the shortcut. All right, some of y'all, I'm hearing straight and narrow. Long and strong, okay? <laughs> but some of y'all need to be in that energy during this time. All right? I'm hearing some of you guys have taken the high road in regards to Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Some sort of like, it's not really beef. It's like some sort of like tit for tat energy. Like basically somebody telling you to get in the mud with them when you rocking all white. Like bitch, I'm feeling gourly right now. You want me to get in the mud with you, kid? Some of y'all, this could have been with a fire sign or an air sign. I was about to say preferably, girl. Yeah, what? Maybe a fellow water sign. There's someone here that I feel like you could have bested by just moving on from. You wasn't finna go back and forth with this person. You wasn't finna go tit for tat with this person. I for a nine type shit. Like, nah, I'm gonna let you be in the mud, kid. All right? It's like I just I just feel like some of y'all took the high road in regards to someone not um stooping down to their level or you're being urged not to do this. Okay, Pisces. <sighs> yeah, I got the fool card, the hermit, and the nine of wands. A lot of you guys, this is that being detached from reality or just attached in general type energy. But I see some of you guys doing it for a reason. With the hermit card and the nine of wands, I just feel like until like you're able to push through cherry card and the five of wands, some things that might have snuck up on you in regards to expenses. Um, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, day-to-day uh, -day life shit that we got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like for me, you know what I'm saying? Your AC go out in your car. You got to hurry up and come up, come up with the money because the bitch not going to be riding around in this heat. Are you crazy? Bitch, I'll be broke, but I'm going to be Arctic, okay? <laughs> this AC going to work, bitch, okay? It's like something here comes out of the blue that knocks you off and it's like, huh? fuck bro now i'm trying to recover from that some of y'all could be in that energy during this time all right but with the nine of wands and the hermit card here i kind of feel like that could be why you're kind of in this seclusion energy it's like let me get my shit together first you know pisces i'm a fan of you <laughs> i feel it spirit guys what's going on with the pisces zodiac for the month of july in the year 2022 yeah some of y'all need to be careful about things like getting you um getting you off track okay something here that's meant to distract you right get you off course hangman isn't this a piscean energy i think the hangman is a pisces energy so with the hangman coming up underneath the cherry card pisces you need to be careful about being still stagnant and stale okay some of y'all stuck <laughs> i don't know some of y'all got some stale shit in your house throw it away girl we are not that 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 down we're not that down bad okay replace it i don't know but some of y'all need to be careful about being stuck still and stagnant during this time when you know cherry car you're supposed to be in motion right and i told you with the hangman the seven of swords ooh. 
this is traitor energy okay hangman the seven of swords is someone here that might you know i'm in distress okay this is what they what's that shit called it was the princess syndrome or something like that but it could be a victim mentality i don't know some of y'all they could be a a, a a wolf crier around you during this time somebody that maybe tries to make you feel bad for them when it's like with the seven of swords you put yourself in that position son all right some y'all need to be careful about somebody like that excuse you bitch i do okay knight of cups somebody here wolf in sheep's clothing now the knight of cups can be a very dapper dan type of dude he's very gentleman like you know he opened doors and shit like that he smelled good mm -mm. some of y'all somebody here not what you think that is somebody at your job girl <laughs> this somebody at your job knight of cups eight of pentacles and a death card i don't know girl don't shit where you eat so y'all need to be careful about messing with somebody at your job okay some of y'all with the Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Death card. Some of y'all quitting the job if you haven't already. Some of y'all like, I'm out this bitch. Okay, hangman. I just see some of you guys deciding to depart from something that's hangman. You realize is keeping you stuck. All right? It's like, why am I even dealing with this? Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck it all. Some of y'all, this is a current job that you have. Some of y'all, this is something here that I feel like you've been kind of putting some effort, energy, and attention into. Neither because you've been pursuing. Some of y'all, this is a connection with someone. It's like, bro, why am I even dealing with all this bullshit you come with? Some of y'all, this is definitely with a Scorpio. Maybe you've already moved on from this. Some of y'all, this could have been with an Earth sign, Virgo or Taurus, because both of these are out here. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces? Okay. Now that's too many, girl. It's too many. Put it back in. <laughs> Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces over here for the month of July in the year 2022? Mm -mm, too many. So, I like it. Because it's the sun card. And y'all know in tarot, the chariot leaves the tower and follows the star, right? But the sun is what? It's considered to be a star. So some of y'all, I feel like with the chariot and the sun card out here, you're going to run into obstacles. You're going to run into conflict. Seven of Swords, you're going to have something that knocks you off your feet. Something that sets you back. Hey, man, something that gives you this energy. Where it's like, maybe I should just give up. Maybe I shouldn't even move. But look what you heading towards. All right, some of y'all with the chariot and the sun card are on a... Oh, congratulations to anybody that just had a baby. All right, as you see her with the newborn right there. Some of y'all could have just had a baby. Or you have some baby, some infant, some toddler around you during this time. I don't know, girl. Some of y'all, you know, this could be the struggle of being a parent. I don't know if it's a single parent or just being parents in general to where it's like. <sighs> I don't know what all comes with that because I'm not in that in that spot of my life yet. You know what I mean? But I would assume, girl, you know, being a parent ain't easy. <laughs> having to raise somebody, right? And, you know, having to raise them correctly. You feel me? Having to financially and spiritually physically emotionally provide for a little one i'm pretty sure that comes with a lot of you know hard work okay and you know conflict some of y'all could be you know the struggles of parenthood right some of y'all this could be in regards to money okay because two of pentacles on the bottom of that with the five of wands all right oh yeah girl push through honey Two of Pentacles, Strength card, and the King of Pentacles. Uh, men, is this you? If it is with the King of Pentacles, some of y'all, this is in regards to pushing through certain financial obligations and or hardships during this time. Don't resort back to something. I don't know if this is you being in these streets. I don't want to automatically go to that, but this could be, you know, like you just... This gives me the energy of being in survival mode rather than thriving mode. It's like, girl, I just want to wake up tomorrow rather than, you know, I want to be prepared for tomorrow. Are we vibing? Are we meshing right now? Do you get me? All right. Yeah, I don't know, Pisces. It could be some inconsistent situation with the earth or a fire sign that I kind of feel like it might just be best for you to move on from. Some of y'all have already. I told you you wasn't finna, you know, do no tip for tat with somebody here. Some of y'all have already moved on from that. Some of y'all could be being urged to. It's like with the five wands and the sun card, that whole saying, when things are good, they're good. But when they're bad, they're bad. Well, shit, when are things bad when they're good? That makes no sense to me, girl. All right, some of y'all need to be careful about being, I'm here enthralled. Girl, what? Where my other phone at? The other phone, honey. There you go. Girl, the verbiage they be telling me about. I'm like, who do y'all think I am out here? But <laughs> 
some of y'all yeah I, I get this energy of being enthralled with someone but i just feel like that's just the fancy way of saying being involved with somebody right hold on girl because i'm about to look that up y'all be giving me words and i'll be having to google it and shit capture the fascinated attention of break it down a little bit more for me <laughs> oh to hold the attention of as if by a spell i don't know girl this this gives me uh what's that shit called infatuation yeah some of y'all need to be careful about having the bullshitters on maybe it's like with the sun card you trying to see all the positive positives of a certain situation or a certain person but it's like you ignoring all this Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I mean, yeah, girl. I told you, not to cut somebody here is not what they seem to be. It's a, if a, it's a, it's a cry wolfer or a wolf in sheep's clothing. Some of y'all need to be careful about somebody like that around you during this time, honey. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces zodiac for the month of July in the year twenty twenty two? Eight of Swords with the Two of Wands. So we went from the seven to the eight. Hangman, Sun card, and the Eight of Swords. Some of y'all need to be careful about. You see how my dude right here is kind of like, what I just say? Okay, covering his eyes and shit. Like, you know, kind of like wanting to, not wanting to see the reality of a certain situation. Well, some of y'all with the Hangman, Sun card, and the Eight of Swords you need to be careful. Yeah, she, she blindfolded too. Some of y'all need to be careful about not even like. fathoming like how something could turn out it's like when you think about where you at now you're dealing with all this bullshit it's like bro this shit will probably never end i don't know when i get out of this it's like you need to see further than what you see in pisces instead of you know only looking at all the bullshit that's in front of you only looking at all the bs that you gotta handle take care of during this time think about where you're gonna be at that's what's gonna you know push you through all this bs that you got going on all right Two of Wands is on the bottom of that. Some of y'all need to be careful about not, you know, forgetting what you're trying to reach. All right. Once you're submerged into this fuckery. <laughs> and I feel like it's just fuckery in regards to, like I said, you know, um, you know, having to deal with some sort of setback in regards to something to where it's like, damn, yo, that really took me off my game. All right. And you kind of got to find your like center yourself again. I hear, I, I hear it, and I'm like, I think it makes sense. But then again, I'm like, girl, am I just talking? Spirit guys, what's going on with the Okay. Ooh. So some of y'all have Saturn in Pisces. Remember, you can have any placement of Pisces, but I definitely see Saturn in Pisces or Saturn in the 12th house. So we got the uh, Chariot, the Hangman, and the World card, our major arcana. Yeah, a lot of you guys with the Chariot card are realizing with the Hangman where you're uh not moving, where you're remaining stuck. Like, what about you you're not changing that's making you feel like, hey, what's going on? Okay, some of y'all with the sun card, something here is being uh, shown to you or enlightened to you in regards to, like, what's keeping you stuck. Eight of Swords, some of y'all, this is just like overthinking, kind of having like this pessimistic outlook on your life or what's going to happen or you being too too distracted by all the details all the you know the nooks and crannies you feel me does that make sense all right some of y'all need to be are being urged to be in this energy to where it's like i mean girl you need to move <laughs> some of y'all i don't know this is like literal relocation some of y'all might be thinking about moving literally or some of y'all just need to get up get up trinity all right yeah two of wands it's like <clears throat> That wasn't even a bird. I just needed to breathe. All right. Excuse that. Right. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, Pisces. Be careful about what the two, two of wands only seem short term. It's like, what's that shit called? Um, When you can only see like what's close to you. Nearsighted. I don't know. Some of y'all could be literally nearsighted. Right. But some of y'all need to be careful about being this way in your outlook in regards to life. You're only thinking about what's in front of you. You know, only what you can see. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? 
Some of y'all catch it though. Like you realize that you you're in this energy and it's like, oh bitch, no ma'am. Oh, I can't be in this. Girl, I knew. Okay, four of wands and eight of wands. Yeah, some of y'all could be in the midst of a relocation or thinking about relocating. Five of wands, sun card, and the eight of wands. The four of wands. What we got going on? Oh, yeah. I told you. Four, four of wands and ten of swords. Some of y'all could be moving during this time. Three of wands, ten of swords, and the four of wands contemplate contemplating a move. Or in the midst of a move. Or wanting to move. It's one of the three. All right. Yeah, world card and the eight of wands. Some of y'all are realizing in order for you to reach like a new level and, you know, evolution, you just, you know, like I said, leveling up. Eight of wands, you're realizing that you might got to put in a little bit more work than what you have been doing. Um, world card for me can also be about you experiencing leveling up symptoms. So some of y'all with the cherry and the hangman, you don't feel right whenever you're not doing nothing. You don't feel right whenever you ain't done your chores. You don't, it, it's like um, physically, uh, things affect you whenever you realize you're not moving or you're not doing what you're supposed to, all right? You might be, you know, um, up all night, sleeping all day, okay? Your eating habits might be off. These are the things that start to affect you whenever you're kind of feeling yourself move to a different frequency or to another level, like the next level. Spirit, guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Some of y'all need to be careful about receiving all types of signs, symbols, and confirmations in regards to a problematic situation and or person. It's like you've outgrown something. Last card is the Seven of Cups. Pisces, finally your energy come out with the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. Mm. So we got the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I do see some Pisceans like just scattered it's like they don't know what's going on bro they lost in their own mind seven of swords eight of swords and the seven of cups it's like because someone here has negative intentions eight of swords and the seven of cups that's why they can't find them it's like somebody here trying to find their way out of a forest but uh it, it's like they can't because of where their intentions were at. It's like somebody here could have had negative intentions towards a certain situation, and now they're lost. They feel lost. It's being, you know, you know, they had bad intentions in regards to something. All right. But Eight of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. This is Piscean energy. So Pisces, some of y'all with the Eight of Cups are being urged to turn your back on Seven of Cups. Some sort of mental indecision during this time. Okay, being all up in your head in regards to something. World card, Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. You're receiving all sort of confirmations. So world card, uh, let something close out. Let a certain chapter close. But you're still standing there with the hangman. This could be with a certain person, a situation, an environment, or a mentality. Some of y'all could be receiving messages through your dreams. Like, I'm going to tell y'all, because I thought about it while I, was, uh, while I was doing this reading. Okay, I'm really trying my best to, like, temper my... Um, desire for sweets and everything i lied to you not last night i had a dream that i was eating oreo cakes that i ate the whole box of oreo cakes this ever since they brought them things back i just thank you god but no don't don't you shouldn't have brought those back but it's something like that i'm literally having dreams about me you know overeating or eating unhealthy shit i have it you know what i'm saying but the temptation is there so some of y'all need to be careful about well not be careful be aware of certain dreams like that you having certain dreams you know like that and it's like what the fuck was that that was a, it was a message, okay? Seven of Swords. Don't go back to, you know what I'm saying? Eating whole boxes of Oreo cases. I wouldn't eat a whole box, but I definitely eat like two. <laughs> Not two boxes, but they come with like, I think it's like four to a pack, and I eat like two. Let me get out of here. Y'all hearing about my life. Pisces, that was your July monthly reading. Any placement of Pisces, we do have Sun and Saturn in Pisces, or Sun in the 12th house, or Saturn in the uh, 12th house. But you can have any placement of Pisces. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. My pricing and my content information is in the description box down below or other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. All right. All right, y'all. Let me head over to these other readings. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.